Alright, in this tutorial, a little demo here, uh, I'm just going to go over real fast, like how to put a little, how to put things in the shelf here, so that you can add things like inside these tabs or make your own tab in the shelf, and you don't have to keep going into a menu to find something to do something, you're going to keep doing over and over again, you can do it from a button in the shelf. Um, and anyway, yeah, let's get started on it. And, so basically, this is your shelf up here. You have all these ones, and normally, in the Maya that I use on my other workstation, I don't have these default shelves up really at all because they're just a mess and they take up space and all that. But they're basically in there for everything. And since you know we polygon model here in my tutorials, this is the polygon shelf here, which pretty much has everything you need on it. But uh. For the demonstration, I'll show you how to make your own. So to the left of all these icons in the shelves here, you'll see a little folder tab thing right here. And then you'll underneath of it, you'll see a little black arrow. It says menu of items to modify. You just hold down left mouse button on it. It's got the shelf editor. You can edit what's on a shelf. You can create a new shelf, which is what we're going to do. Delete a shelf, load a shelf. You can save all the shelves. It'll actually say it, save it within the... MA or MB Maya file when you save it. So when you pull it back up, your shelves are there. But we'll go New Shelf, enter New Shelf Name, and you can't have any spaces or wacky characters. So everything has to be, you can use the old first capital letter, I, James Polygon Tools. And there's my empty shelf right there on the very end. So when I got it in there, I don't want to save all shelves yet because I'm gonna add some things to it first but with this with this empty tab selected that's James Polygon Tools or whatever your name is um, I'm gonna go over here I'm in the rendering tab now I wanna make this is Polygon Tools that's why I named it that so I know the tab is for modeling with polygons it's when I'm just modeling so I'm gonna go to the modeling tab and um, basically I have to think about the tools that I'm gonna use most okay you know like the ones I'm gonna model with the polygons most um, ones you'll probably always wanna put on your shelf regardless of what it is is edit delete by type history now don't delete all by type because it'll delete history on everything in your scene you just wanna delete by type history on whatever the object you currently have selected is now to get this to add to your shelf you just come over till it's highlighted what you want hold down shift and control while holding them down click the left mouse button now you see an icon that appeared in my shelf right here it says HIS on it that's Maya's icon for history so edit delete by type history you want to put in any shelf you create because you're going to delete history on objects as you go when you're finished working on them you want to delete the history the other one you want to do is get rid of the data on all the transforms on an object you're working on and you would go under modify freeze transformations now you can do the old trick and just hold down shift and control and click it right on the freeze transforms but you don't really know what settings you're freezing transforms with then so usually if it's something where I may change the settings here and there I will actually go over to the little box settings box here and alt and shift control click that and it goes in so this time when I click on these buttons, you won't see anything happen with the history because there's no object in the scene. Freeze transformations will pop up its op options box. This way, if you're freezing transforms, and we wouldn't be in my polygon tools tab, but like say on joints, which is risky stuff anyway, you could select it or deselect joint orientation in here. Usually you wouldn't want to freeze the transforms on a joint orientation. But anyway, so we added those. And then I would go in here under, and since this is polygon modeling tools, under polygons and edit polygons, for me, ones I use most are, I'd add a pin to polygon, uh, I'd do smooth proxy, but I'm going to put the settings because I'll probably want to make sure what the settings are first. Smooth's not important because smooth proxy, I, I'll look at it smooth and then when I like it, I'll go ahead and smooth it after that. But, uh, combine, I don't use a tremendous amount. So if I go under edit polygons, I definitely use the split polygon tool. 
I'll be anal and put the uh, option box. Duplicate edge loop, split edge ring, all these. Extrude face, extrude edge. Sometimes I came for the vertex, vertices, um, cut faces, sometimes poke faces. Merge verts is a huge one. Use that all the time. Duplicating faces, extract faces. Sculpt geometry tool. We talked about that one in the other tutorial. So I will just create a polygon plane, one by one subdivisions. And I'll wait for this machine to lag because it's capturing video and it's a cruddy video card. So I have my thing there and um, split edges, yep. Yeah. And then I don't even look, I didn't even have to go up in the menu. If I was going to do that otherwise, the normal way, I mean, you save an eighth of a second, but it adds up when you spend hundreds of hours on something. I have to go up in here, edit split edge ring tool and then do it you know but on here I can just wing, wing. we're good man I can do this all day um, extrude phase and um, after a while you're gonna recognize what these icons mean but that's how you add things to the shelf and I will last thing I will do is save all shelves and then we would save the actual file out